From 2K Sports to everyone out there. Welcome and Happy New Year. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. With Allie LaForce joining us courtside. And the upcoming schedule for the Brooklyn Nets. On Tuesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Victor Oladipo and the Houston Rockets. And for that game against the Thunder, they'll want to come out fighting in that one. They'll be big-time underdogs, but anything can happen. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. And it's Conley in at the one. And for Brooklyn, Bridges and Johnson work as the forwards. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Cam Thomas. And it's Dinwiddie in at the one. Well, Richard, you filled every role in this league from a big-time score to a role player. So are roles defined by this time of the year? Yeah, they should be. Now, obviously, roles are fluid. A, a, a trade or an injury, anything can happen that can immediately change your role. Your goal is to be prepared at all times for whatever it needs to be. Now here's Conley. Pass to Edwards. Gobert with it. He's guarded by Claxton. Now here's Conley. Stolen by Dinwiddie. Out of bounds. The Timberwolves will take it. Now the Timberwolves with it. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Brooklyn this season. These teams were similar last year, both in how they treated this head-to-head -head matchup and where they finished in the standings. It's time to see which teams made the adjustments that can give them the edge. Some conference pride at stake here, too. And it's Towns with the power finish. It's so nice to see Towns use his high basketball IQ to dominate in pick and rolls. It seems like he always makes the right read in that situation. Thomas, that's good. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Well, Cam Thomas certainly has an interesting background, Richard. He was born in Japan. Yeah, Thomas is an American citizen and played high school ball in Virginia. Cam's mom was in the Army and was stationed in Japan when he was born there. Now here's Edwards coming off a 31-point game. No good on his first attempt of the game. Looked like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Dinwiddie passes to Thomas. And stolen by Edwards. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. He's guarded by Bridges. The kick out to Edwards. Crops in the three. A nice dish by Gobert. With his height, he can see over the whole defense. Dinwiddie with it. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Claxton passes to Thomas. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Timberwolves have gone two of three from the floor. Nick Daniels, that's good. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Now here's Dinwiddie. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Putting up a little over 14 points a game. And again, it's the Nets missing. And it's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And here's Edwards. Back to Conley. Takes the three. And another three for Minnesota. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. It's Thomas on the wing. Pass to Johnson. Now Bridges. Outside Johnson. Four on the clock. Here's Thomas. Oh, no good again that time. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Bridges against McDaniels. Claxton passes to Thomas. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got four rebounds now. And Edwards puts up. Oh, it oh, goes! Oh, 
Oh, he got it off in time. Wow. Whoa. The heave to beat the buzzer. Woo. Yeah, that's one in a hundred type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Timberwolves ahead. Up 10. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Timberwolves. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. Minnesota has gone three or four from distance in this game. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. On the court for the Timberwolves, second quarter underway. They've got Kyle Anderson, Shake Milton out there with Edwards. Then there's Nas Reed, and it's Alexander Walker in at the three. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Anderson. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Back to Reed. A slam dunk by Reed. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Milton against Smith. Pass to Bridges. Here's Watford. Five to shoot. Bridges, a screen on Edwards. Walker for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Edwards, the pass to Alexander Walker. And Edwards, here we go. The shot that time, not on target. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Walker. Back to Watford. You know, there's some great ball handlers in the league today, but maybe not as much as in the past, RJ. Well, most teams are more focused on ball movement now, B.A. Passing is the emphasis, not ISO play. But at the end of the day, you better have a guy late game that can do the ISO work. Now here's Edwards. He has six. Let's go with a three. Smith with the rebound. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. Pass to Walker. And Brooklyn again with a bucket. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Okay, look. That move right there is a product of repetition. He's worked on that, and it pays off over that little larger defender. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over.
So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Claxton, he's checked in for Watford. Johnson comes in for Bridges. Thomas, he's checked in for Walker. And it's Dinwiddie in for Smith. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Reed. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Alexander Walker. McDaniels is checked in for Edwards. And Conley subbed in for Milton. 116 left in the second. Dinwiddie against Conley. Back to Towns. Shot clock at five. Here's McDaniels. There's the block. Johnson passes to Finney Smith. From deep. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Conley. Gobert inside. Covered by Johnson. To get back on track. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And the stifled tower makes his presence felt on the offensive end. He's really developed an array of moves on the interior. One misses. For his career, Gobert's field goal percentage is in the same ballpark as his free throw percentage. So the Nets making a switch here. Bridges is checked in. And he ends up missing both free throws. Brooklyn's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Pass to Dinwiddie. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Now Bridges. He's guarded by Conley. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And the three-pointer goes. Dinwiddie's got himself on the board with a three there. The defense got crossed up, and Bridges takes advantage with that pass. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Nets out in front. They lead by a bucket. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Howdy, folks. The moment you've been waiting for is here. Before we recap the first half, let's see what the standings look like in the East. When I look at Brooklyn, they've been stuck in the middle tier. Not good enough to challenge for a chip, 
but not bad enough to get a high draft pick. They're really going to need their young guys to take a step forward in their development. And when we look at the first half for the Nets, a close contest so far. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're going to need you. Be ready. And you don't always know which games it'll be. But tonight, they needed scoring from their reserves. Good job, guys. It's kept them in the game, but I think they'll have to ride their stars down the stretch. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to B.A. to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year's to all of you as we continue our broadcast. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. <laughs> yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. He's just that good. You can plan for him, but he just makes great adjustments on the fly. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. The Brooklyn Nets kind of hit the reset button early in 2023, dealing away star power, Richard. Yeah, it was a big decision for that franchise, sending themselves back to the drawing board in some respects. But they got a ton of picks for Kevin Durant. They got a ton of picks for James Harden. So they have set themselves up to be in a very good position moving forward. Johnson at the four with Claxton at center. Then it's Mikael Bridges. Then it's Cam Thomas. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. So that's the Nets five. First one falls. So one for two that time at the stripe. They're ahead for now, but that miss could come back to bite them. Well, Grant, something could go bare as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. Dinwiddie outside. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Here's Thomas. McDaniels covering. And the ball out of play. The Timberwolves will have it. And a look here at the shooters doing the most damage from long range this season. You look at Walker. Boy, what a gifted shooter he is from way out there. And, of course, Mike Conley. And the way both of these guys open up the floor with their long-range shooting, you just can't afford to give them any airspace from deep. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. And so Conley will bring it up for Minnesota. They've led by as much as 10. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. That'll be the second of two games on the road. Now here's Edwards. Six points for him. Conley passes to Edwards. The three is up. Brooklyn with the board. 146 left in the third quarter. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Thomas, guarded by Edwards. Reporter Bridges. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. 
a moment here to see the numbers for Mikhail Bridges. And he's having issues at the free throw line at the moment. In the past 10 games, his touch hasn't been the same as it was before. He'll be trying to correct that tonight. Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Claxton. Dinwiddie with it. And again, it's the Nets missing. It's Edwards on the wing. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Edwards can't hit. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. From deep, Johnson knocks down the long J. Johnson's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Gobert. Now Edwards. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. Basket's good. And the focus never broke there for Edwards. The Nets have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Here's Thomas. Dinwiddie with a screen on Edwards. Thomas passes to Claxton. And that one is stopped right through. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Outside Edwards. Towns on a screen. One second left. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Timberwolves ahead. They lead by a bucket. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Brooklyn's gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. We've got Shake Milton, Nas Reed out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Edwards in at the two. And the basket by Bridges. Yeah, relentless worker. Bridges, so tough inside. Milton surveys the floor. Top of the key jumper, no good. Now I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for Watford. Johnson comes in for Finney Smith. Thomas, he's checked in for O'Neal. And it's Dinwiddie in for Walker. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Reed. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Anderson. McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. And Conley subbed in for Milton. Here's Thomas. Johnson for three. Hits a three-pointer. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Edwards. We played through about a minute here in the fourth. The kick out to Conley. And it's rejected. And they're able to recover. Just four to shoot. And Edwards puts up a deep three. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ballgame. Dinwiddie against Conley. Dinwiddie passes to Bridges over McDaniels. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist by Dinwiddie. And the defensive effort was there. But Bridges is skilled at draining these little contested jumpers. Edwards for three. Rebounded by the Nets. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. Outside Johnson. 
Screen by Bridges. The three, Dinwiddie. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. The Timberwolves have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Now here's Edwards. Tight defense on him. Pass to Towns. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And in the big moments, Towns ups the ante, which allows him to knock down the important shots. Here's Thomas, guarded by Edwards. Paxton down low. He's against Gobert. It's good. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Now here's Edwards. And the ball out of play. The Nets will have it. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Here's Thomas. 1-10 left in the game. Tipped away. Conley passes to Towns. Money! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! All-out effort from Towns, putting the team on his back and getting them the shot they need. Here's Thomas. Inside. Just five to shoot. Dinwiddie outside. And now the T-Wolves on the break. Here's Conley. And he buries it. And that one brings them within one. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that's an intentional foul. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. And Minnesota calls time here. They're behind by two. There's 21 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two. But if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. from the sideline. Let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He pleaded with his guys to keep their emotions in check, saying, you're battling right now. Continue to play smart. Don't try to be a hero out there. Play for one another. Guys, let's see what happens. 
Alley, thank you. With a bucket here, they can recapture the lead. Mm-hmm. I like how they've hung in. Never let things get out of hand. Now Edwards. The kick out to Conley to take the lead. Off target from downtown. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. on the first and that makes it a three-point lead so he gets them both and it's a four-point ball game making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here that pretty much did and minnesota calls time here they trail by four three seconds left in the fourth quarter here all right guys what's your take I mean, they're still battling, but this one is just about official. Three, Conley. It falls! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one. Timeout called, Brooklyn. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Oh, 
And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And he does get the second one. And that'll put him up two. So it's a narrow victory for the Nets. Pulling it out for the W. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.